So Lucy's most successful work was her tomb scene from Romeo and Juliet. Um, and this is um, a, a sign of Lucy wanting to be taken seriously as an artist, not just as a woman artist, but she wanted to be able to paint um, the literary and historical subject matter that her brother and father and other male counterparts were allowed to paint. Um, so this was quite a bold statement as a woman artist um, to actually uh, um, take, undertake these subjects um, that were, um, you know, considered uh, or it would be, they would be judged at a different level to other works. Her scene uh, from the end, of the heartbreaking scene from the end of Romeo and Juliet um, is the moment when the two lovers, um, are, their, their tragic fate is sealed. Uh, she has painted Juliet um, in her drug sleep and Romeo is about, assuming that, his, that Juliet is dead, Romeo is about to take poison um, that, um, that will kill him. And um, her work was praised by um, all the, um, the critics for the innovative use of um, moonlight um, to illuminate the key figures, uh, the refined sensibility with which she painted the, the two faces that you focus on, um, her handling of the subject, her dramatic handling of the subject was considered um, very well done, and also her colours, people, uh, the critics praised her colours. And this would be the work that um, people would remember. Um, it's still used um, on the front of textbooks, um, and um, it's um, a sign of where she was um, in this creative dialogue with her um, brother and uh, father, in that they painted scenes um, from Shakespeare, so Ford Maddox Brown painted Romeo and Juliet um, around this time as well, a different scene where Romeo is climbing up to the balcony, um, uh, so an earlier, less poignant moment in the story. But by painting another scene from Shakespeare's play, um, Lucy was signalling that um, she wanted to be taken as seriously as her father and as her brother as painters and that she felt that she had something to add in this um, reimagining of, of what she referred to as Shakespeare's genius.